Using Composer's Function Block Diagram, you can customize a Wattlow controller for your application. The four basic steps to configuring the Function Block Diagram are to add the blocks from the library that you want to use, group the blocks that you'll use together, connect the blocks so they work together, and adjust the parameter settings so the blocks do what you want. To use a function from the library, click and drag it to a free spot on the canvas. If you drop the block where there is not enough room, it will go back to the library instead of landing on the canvas. If you decide you don't need a block that you took from the library, you can return it by selecting the block and pressing the delete key on the keyboard. To make the function block diagram clearly show what an application is doing, and to make it easy to work with, it's a good idea to group the blocks that work together near each other on the canvas. Let's say you want to use this compare block to set an output indicating which of two inputs is greater. You could connect the compare block to the input and output blocks wherever they are on the canvas, but it would be a lot easier for you and others to see what the application does if these blocks are near one another. Use the navigator to locate the blocks. Once you find a block you want to use, you can drag it to the desired location. If you move the pointer close to the edge of the editor window, the canvas scrolls. To move two or more blocks, select one, hold the shift key, select the others, release the shift key, and drag the blocks to the desired location. To move one or more blocks a long distance, select them, zoom out, and drag them to the desired location. A block from the library only performs its function when it's connected to other blocks. To connect blocks, drag a signal from a transmitter to a receiver or from a receiver to a transmitter. When you connect a function block to an output, consider whether it's safe to do so. If the expected flex modules are present and there are no errors preventing it, the moment you connect the signal, the controller will begin to set the output accordingly. Outputs connected in the function block diagram view begin to function immediately. Ensure that energy sources are disconnected and locked out until you have completely configured and tested your application. There are adjustable parameters associated with each function block. To configure a block for your application, select the block and review and adjust the settings in the parameters window. For the compare block, if I set the function parameter to less than, the output is on when the signal at receiver A is less than the signal at receiver B. If you decide to make a change to the connections, you can delete a signal by selecting it and pressing the delete key on the keyboard. As you connect blocks with signals, keep in mind that a transmitter can be connected to many receivers, but a receiver can only accept a single signal. Not all receivers and transmitters are compatible. For example, Composer stops you from connecting a thermocouple signal to a receiver on a logic block because it requires an on-off signal. As mentioned earlier, you can return a function block to the library by deleting it from the canvas. However, you must first delete each signal that is connected to it. Also note that if you put a block from the library on the canvas, but don't connect it to any other blocks, the next time you launch Composer you'll find the block has been returned to the library. In this Composer Notes, you learned how to add blocks and move blocks around the canvas, how to connect blocks to each other, and how to access and adjust their parameter settings. To learn specifics about setting up control loops, cascade control, ramp and soak profiling, and other specific applications, see the next Composer Notes tutorials.